Hey everybody, this is Dr. Todd from Gonza Spine and Wellness. I wanted to talk to you about something that is really important. All of us have two of these, and here's a hint, the foot. So, I have this model here. This is a foot model. You might see this if you come into our office and you say, why do you have a foot model? You're a chiropractor. Well, it's because as chiropractors, we actually adjust and assess and look at much more than just the spine. The spine is really the foundation. However, all the extremity joints, all the different joints of the body, the shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, ankle, foot, these all have the same types of problems that the spine can have. They can misalign. So I wanna cover the difference between a couple of different orthotics. Orthotics support the foot, but first we gotta talk about what a normal foot is. So the foot, this is a right foot, and I'll use this to demonstrate like the floor. The foot should have a nice arch in it when you're standing. And when you walk, you go through this process where you heel strike, you foot flat, then you pronate, and then you toe off and you should go through this process as you walk. That's the normal way that we absorb shock. So this helps absorb shock in our body all the way up from our ankle to our knee, to our hip, to our low back. This is actually the primary shock absorber of the entire body is the foot. So what happens is a lot of people because our feet were never designed to walk on concrete all day long. And there was, it, was, it was actually supposed to be that the earth was supposed to conform to our foot. So we were supposed to walk on dirt and grass and things like that, and the foot could articulate around those soft surfaces. Uh, however, now it doesn't work that way anymore. We take our foot, we put it in a rigid shoe, and we walk on these hard surfaces, and the foot is forced to adapt to man-made surfaces, concrete, asphalt, that sort of thing. So what happens as a result is the foot starts to pronate or flatten. These ligaments stretch and the bones in the foot actually misalign. So these bones right in here, they misalign and it stretches the stuff on the bottom called the plantar fascia and then it creates something called plantar fasciitis, which is a really common thing and that can even lead to what's called a heel spur. Um, so all, all kinds of problems that all stem from just losing that normal natural alignment or arch of the foot. So here's, here's how we fix this, right? We fix this by first identifying what part of the foot is subluxated or misaligned. So the bones jam, they don't move properly. So we have to go in and by hand, we have to actually adjust the joints of the foot and get them moving, get them articulating better. That's step one. Step two is then saying, how do we rehabilitate the foot and how do we get the foot to actually heal so that it doesn't just keep going back into that subluxated position by the time you walk out to your car. And so that's where we get into what we call an orthotic. And this is, this is what's called a prefabricated orthotic, a company called Mojo Feet. They're awesome. Allison Evans is amazing when it comes to the foot. So shout out to her. Uh, Mojo Feet, she actually designed this herself. It's, it's pretty cool, you'll have to read it sometime. But she, she, she runs this company called Mojo Feet. And they make a prefabricated orthotic, which is hands down better than any sort of prefab that you can buy on the market. So if you go in and you buy a 20 or $30 generic brand, I'm not gonna name any names, um, the biggest difference is, is that in a Mojo Foot orthotic, there is actually this this part that, that curves up and actually holds the foot in a more corrected position like this. Unlike most orthotics, what happens is th there is no ability for this to move and bend as you walk. It just forces the foot to stay there or even some cases just tilts the foot back to normal. And as you walk, the foot cannot go through the process of heel strike, foot flat, pronation toe off this movement is lost in most orthotics because it's not flexible okay so there's a difference between a flexible orthotic and a rigid orthotic this is a prefab this is a great thing that we usually do for kids uh, just because of the fact that these are very inexpensive and a good quality or orthotic usually starts around 300 dollars and that's something that we typically don't want to do for a kid if they're going to grow out of it really quickly. So this is a great option, but then we get to a actual, an actual custom orthotic where the foot sits on here and this 
this is rigid, this is hard, okay? Really, really hard to bend. So, so it feels rigid initially, but it actually flexes. It flexes under a certain amount of load. And so these are built in such a way, it's actually built based off of your body weight. So if you weigh 180 pounds, if you weigh 260 pounds, this orthotic's gonna be custom and different for you. And the reason that that matters is because as you walk, you want the foot to be able to go into pronation so that the foot can be rehabilitated into its normal movement pattern. You don't wanna just lock it into this, into this position. So anyway, that's kind of a summary of a flexible orthotic versus just a generic um, rigid orthotic. And it's also important to note that even, even the orthotics that you go in and, and you get the foot casted for, even sometimes if you go to your podiatrist and they do this, oftentimes there's a couple of, of variables that I feel are missing. One is the orthotic company that they use doesn't give you one that's flexible based on your body weight. It, it, it puts the foot in a great position However, it doesn't allow the foot to move, so, it, so you don't get all the benefits from it. And, and then another thing on top of that is that so many of these other doctors that do orthotics, they, the, the missing essential is if the foot is subluxated and misaligned, what they're doing is they're taking a pathological foot and they're casting a pathological foot. They're building an orthotic based off of a sick foot. You have to adjust the foot first. And there's very few podiatrists that do this. It's mostly chiropractors who specialize in this. Uh, personally, I am I'm what's called a certified chiropractic extremity practitioner. So I've gone through all of the training to be proficient in all the extremities. But we, we are experts at adjusting the foot prior to casting it. And then the last thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna mention, and I know this is a lot of detail, but for those of you out there who wanna know about the foot, this is a great video to watch, is that when we cast the foot for an orthotic, because our way that we send this to the orthotic company is we put this into a foam mold, so some of you may have had this done before, the difference is, is we adjust the foot first, then we fully supinate the foot, so we put it in the best corrected position, and we hold it in that position as we are casting it into a foam cast. So the product that we get from the orthotic company is we get an orthotic, and I took my shoe off here so I can show you this, because I wear orthotics every day. And this is a beat up one, so excuse the fact that it's falling apart, I need to get some new ones. Is that it comes out and has this nice, this nice arch in here that's built based off my body weight, doesn't bend very easily. Okay, so this fits inside my shoe. I wear these all day long because I'm on my feet adjusting patients all day long. And really, there is a huge difference in this. Um, the fact of the matter is the foundation of your whole body, the foundation of your whole spine starts at your feet. You cannot neglect your feet. Almost every single foot problem that you see out there, whether it's bunions or hammer toes, plantar fasciitis, um, if you have uh, extreme calluses and that sort of thing, that's really telling you that you have an abnormal foot, abnormal foot posture. And so the alignment of the foot, the function of the foot, uh, really affects so much more than just the foot. So uh, remember, if you really wanna get a full workup on this, make sure you go to someone who is well-versed in this. Here at Gonstead Spine and Wellness, we specialize in extremities, and I look forward to taking care of you and checking out your foot. Please wash your foot before you come in though, please, okay? Um, really, please wash your foot. So. This is, again, this is Dr. Todd Pickman calling from Gonset Spine and Wellness. And when it comes to the health of you and your family, results matter most, even with the foot. See you next time.